has been achieved, but it's not quite finished. But that's okay. We're going to review what you have, and I'll maybe tell you a couple more facts. Um, and then after that, we're going to fill up that mind map over there. So listen up, because you guys need to help me to um, fill out that mind map with some facts about Leonardo da Vinci. And especially these two parts, <laughs> where you uh, don't have any information yet, so you got to listen carefully, okay? So turn this, do you need to take notes to help you listen? Uh, well, turn to somebody near you and be like, if you don't listen, she'll make us take notes. So yeah, tell them to be quiet and listen. <laughs> L'enfance de Leonardo da Vinci était scandaleuse. Oui, parce que sa maman et son papa étaient mariés ou pas. Ok, aujourd'hui, en 2019, ça, c'est scandaleux ou pas très? Non, pas très scandaleux. Ok. Les glaces. En 1452, c'était normal ou pas normal? Oh, c'était scandaleux. Et on disait, on disait <coughs> en 1452, on disait que il était illégitime. Quel scandale! Mais classe. Il était très intelligent, oui, mm -hmm. très créateur, what is it? Et on dit que, que son influence, son impact, ok, on pense que Léo, Leonardo, est un génie Universel. Un génie est une personne intelligente, oui. Mais les génies normaux sont intelligents dans un sujet, comme les maths, ou les sciences, ou l'art. La sculpture. Mais lui, il était 
un génie universel. Oui? Il était... Il peintait, oui? Il sculptait? Je ne sais pas, I didn't read this article, you guys. Il sculptait? Oui. Il peintait? Il dessinait? Il inventait des choses? Ok, donc c'était un génie universel, ok? Pas juste les mathématiques ou juste l'art. Tout les sujets, la science, les mathématiques, le dessin, la peinture, la sculpture. Oh, et classe. Ok, je préparais le, la, le son, ok, et je lisais, quoi est-ce je lisais l'article et j'ai appris un nouveau mot. Sfumato. Ça c'est le français ou l'italien? Oui, parce que Leonardo était français ou italien? Oui. Et, et classe, est-ce que vous, ok, son style, okay, sfumato, et je pense que sfumato est comme fumé. Parce que fumé, oui. Parce que sfum, fumar, ok. Fumé. Parce que ce style, let's see, what does it say here? This is new for me. Fumato, une technique artistique qui consiste à appliquer des couches de peinture pour donner une impression de brume. La brume est comme une classe. Pensez. Le matin. Non, pas ce matin. Le matin, en général. Oui, oui. Le matin, quelquefois. Okay. En Californie, je ne sais pas. En Oregon, oui. Le matin, en Oregon, il y a la brume. Et est-ce que vous conduisez? Qui conduit? Et conduire avec la brume Ooh, est difficile. Oui? Ici, à Fullerton, il y a de la brume ou pas? Mm. Un, peu. Un, peu. Un peu. En Oregon, il y a beaucoup de brume. Qui a déjà visité Oregon? Est-ce que vous avez vu... What I ask you? Vous avez vu la pluie et la brume? Oui. Est-ce que vous préférez la Californie ou l'Oregon? L'Oregon! Woo! High five and a million angels! Ok. Ouh, classe! Il y a un tableau de Leonardo da Vinci super connu. Comment s'appelle le Le tableau très 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 important, la peinture super importante de Leonardo. Comment s'appelle son chef d'œuvre? La Joconde en anglais? Oui. C'est le chef d'œuvre de Leonardo da Vinci. Chef d'œuvre en anglais? So, you guys know the word chef, right? I thought it was like egg chef. <laughs> chef. The word chef actually comes from the same word as chief. Like, you're, he's the chef, he or she, is like the chief cook, right? And in French, actually, it's chef de cuisine. So, like, the, 
chief of the kitchen or the chief of the cuisine. Is it the chef in charge of all the cooks? Mm -hmm. So, but the word mm -hmm. in French chef is, um, it means just like head or chief or m most important. Um, and so, oeuvre is like a work, like it's like his most important, like chief or principal, like most important work. So it's shade the Oh, class. I see so Thank you. Oh. Une personne, c'est. Okay, Verrocchio est une personne, un artiste. Comme Pinocchio. Il est italien. Comme Pinocchio. Pinocchio est italien. Verrocchio est italien. Leonardo est italien. You guys don't remember him? Well, good. Good thing we're reviewing. Okay, class. A. Florence. Firenze. On Italian. Verrocchio is an artist, a professor d'art. Okay. And c'était le professeur de Leonardo. And Leonardo travaillait, painted, sculpted, dans l'atelier de Verrocchio. Uh, Firenze, on Italian, or on Italian. Oh, a class. Pensez à l'influence de Leonardo. Class, il a inventé beaucoup de choses, oui? Qu'est-ce que Leonardo a inventé? Est-ce que vous savez? Oui. Les quoi? Oh, les ailes! Oui, oui! Pour les machines volantes. En classe. La machine, ok, la machine volante de Leonardo avait des ailes, ok? Et une personne like, était dans la machine et manipulait les ailes pour voler. Est-ce que vous pensez que la machine volante volait? Non. C'était une idée. Mais grâce, les machines volantes existaient en 1400, quelque chose? Il était créateur. Oh, et classe, il a inventé un pont portable. Classe, qu'est-ce que c'est comme pont portable? Oui. Dans la poche, il y a un petit pont. I don't think it was actually pocket size, but that'd be cool. Ok, classe. Deux choses intéressantes sur Leonardo da Vinci. A, numéro 1. This is how I knew I had the wrong chart. Oui, numéro 1, classe. Il. Ok, on n'est pas sûr. Mais on pense que Leonardo da Vinci était bisexuel ou peut-être homosexuel. Mais il était marié aussi. Et this is even more interesting. Et Et on dit. What is that? Yeah. On dit. What's on? They, they say or we say, on dit que les personnes gauchées sont très créatrices. Classe. 
Comment s'appelle cette personne? Aiden. Aiden est créatrice. <laughs> and a gauche. <laughs> um, you are going to tell your partner, so tell them, or somebody near you. you. Maybe you don't have like an official partner, but look at somebody near you. And nod at them. Maybe like you're my official partner for the day. And tell them, like, if you were to talk about all these different things, like, what would you say? Not to review, okay? So just tell them, what would you say? Go. <laughs> Le 15 avril, 
une machine <coughs> volante et classe la machine à voler ou pas? Non. Mais bonne idée! Bon effort! Bon effort. A plus pour effort. Et imagination. Oui. Ok, et quoi d'autre? Un pont. C'est le pont. Et si tu un pont normal, non. quelle espèce de pont? Un pont portable. Un pont portable de poche? Oui. Peut-être. Un petit, petit pont. Dans la poche. Like if you had to, you know, back then the streets were really gross. People just like pooped and then threw it off the window. So maybe you would want a little pocket bridge to like walk across them. Do you know that back in these days in, in Rome, they would wear high heels, even the guys, because um, it was so disgusting on the streets. They wanted to be like up above it because it was like their toes would get all poopy and stuff. Yeah, that's really cool. What time is it, you guys? Je ne sais pas non plus. Midi huit. What time is it over? I mean, what time uh, do we have to say goodbye? Uh, yeah. We like 20 minutes. We like 20 minutes. We like 20 minutes. Nice. We're going to write. A trip Now, when you guys write, do you copy things down? Yes. Yeah. Do you want to copy things down? No. <laughs> if you want to copy things down, you can copy things down. But if you don't want to copy things down, just go like this. What's the other option? Yeah, the to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, so if you don't want to copy things down, just go like this. And if you do, just go like this and knowingly tap your head like, I'm going to write because Alright, so if you're a self directed learner and you really want to ride, please feel free. Um, we are going to work on writing a paragraph about Leonardo that makes us sound really, really smart, okay? So, I'm going to move this, but we're going to try to use the right word. Bon F4! Appearing smart. Not that you guys need to try that hard, but you know it's always good. Like even if you're even if you know you're super smart, like you know it's good when you write to like kind of fancy it up a little bit, right? Because we don't write the way we talk. We write better. C'est français quatre. C'est français quatre. Ça c'est français quatre. Oui. <laughs> okay. How about? But I mean, even if you, even if you're not all that smart, you can look smart, like by following a few simple tricks. So listen up. Okay. Parat intelligent. Okay. So this is like advice number one. Okay. A conseil. Conseil numéro un. What is that? Numéro un. Oui. That's astuce. Like if you ever want to find anything in French about like how to like hack things, it's like astuce, like astuce to like get a girl to go out with you, astuce to like you know make a girl or whatever. Not that you guys would ever need that. All right. So conseil numéro un. Okay. Regardez. Like this is for every class. All right. So you say, le mot like avancé. Okay. 
place. Le mot avancé en anglais. Ok. Donc, écrivez le mot avancé et. Virgule. Ça, c'est important. Ce qui veut dire oh. que. Un exemple. Le chef d'œuvre, ce qui veut dire la peinture la plus connue. Okay, you got it? So we're going to try to use that one right. And we're going to try to use as many times as possible. Because we're going to try to use all these words. No, no, but as many of the words as we can. Every time we use those words, we're going to try to use this. Or maybe if it starts to sound boring, well, I'll, I'll throw another one up there and show you like a different way to say this. This is a trick you can use all the time, like when you're writing in social studies and stuff. I know that your teacher like knows the word, because they probably gave you the vocab, right? But it just makes your writing sound better. Because the idea is that you're like teaching the people who are less fortunate than you and don't know the word. So you're explaining it to them. It just makes you sound like you're super smart and a really good writer. Okay. <clears throat> you want to write good books for The teeth. A I T R E. Okay, class. Le titre. L'influence de Leonardo da Vinci ou un génie universel. Oh, okay, okay. Un class. Guiri ou pas? Oui ou non? Oui. Okay, Guiri. Pas de guillemets. Okay, pas de guillemets. Makes it look like he's not really a genius, right? A genie. Universal. Ce qui veut dire que il est super intelligent en math, science, art, etc. Okay. Leonardo da Vinci ou Leo? Pour paraître intelligent, on dirait Léo ou Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo. Ou le génie Leonardo da Vinci. Ok, Léo, Leonardo da Vinci ou le génie Leonardo da Vinci. Le génie. Leonardo da Vinci. Oh, I'm like the world's worst speller, I swear. And like computers are just like making us all bad spellers. Don't judge me. Imagine if you're writing in front of a whole bunch of people in a different language. No spell check. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> they. En Italie, I T A L I E. Ou en 1452. Ou pendant le 10 ou le 15e siècle. Ça, c'est fantastique, n'est-ce pas? Ça, c'est très intelligent. Ok. Ou pendant le 15e siècle, ou au milieu du 15e siècle. Pendant le la, la, la siècle, ou au milieu de la siècle. Ok. Le génie Leonardo da Vinci est né en Italie au milieu. Et là, milieu en anglais. De 
Madame, c'est la siècle? Non. Le siècle? Du siècle. Le siècle. Ça va. Somebody told me one time you should never take a measure yourself about gender. Wait a second. Une siècle. No, say le siècle. I know, right? Wait. You start like questioning yourself. Oh, what is it in Spanish? Siglo? It usually is the same. It usually is. Do you guys notice that? Anybody speak Spanish? Yeah. Have you guys ever noticed that? Most of the genders like actually line up. Yeah. Except in, in French, they're usually harder to tell from like looking at the word. But then in Spanish, you got things like el agua. What is up with that? And el planeta. El agua. Agua. And la mano. Yeah. Anyway, there's a few weird ones, but French is a lot harder. Okay, it's le siècle. If it's el siècle, I think it's probably le siècle. Au milieu du... Quel siècle? Le quinzième ou le dix? Le neuf siècle. Seizième. Quinzième. Quinzième. Siècle. Pendant... La... Oh, classe! Renaissance est très long. Ok, classe épelée pour moi. Ok, R. Classe R minuscule ou majuscule? Majuscule. Majuscule. E. E. N. Une N ou deux? Deux N. A. I. S. Une S ou deux? Ok. A. N. There's only one There's two There's 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 one There's two Renaissance sur Léo. Ou est-ce que vous voulez définir qu'est-ce que c'est que la Renaissance? Les effets ou définir la, la Renaissance? Ok, donc. par 
la Grèce et Rome. Et qui a utilisé cette influence? Uh, ok, les artistes italiens. Mais juste les artistes? Les artistes et les inventeurs. Just gonna go on. On. Ok. Découvert ou ré? Découvert. Parce que découvert en anglais. Redécouvert. Okay. Découvert ou redécouvert? On ré. Découvert quoi? La culture? L'influence? Les mathématiques? Les triangles et les cercles de Grèce et Rome? On redécouvert la culture ou l'influence ou l'influence de la culture? Ok, l'influence. Passe l'influence ou l'influence de la culture? L'influence de la culture. Oh, it works so hard. L'influence, this is what happens when you tell the class they don't have to write. They're like, oh yeah, just write it all, Miss Hargadon. It just sounds so good. Just keep on writing. Just exercise your arm. It's like Michelle Obama arms coming up. Ok, l'influence de la culture. La culture de Grèce et Rome ou la culture gréco-romaine? Gréco-romaine. Et classe, en anglais, la G est majuscule, mais en français, ça c'est majuscule? Non. Non. Gréco-romaine. Phew! Point. How much time do we have left? They're getting restless. We're writing one sentence. Way to go, that's quite a sentence. That's a good one. Un génie universel. Le génie Leonardo da Vinci est né en Italie au milieu du 15e siècle pendant la Renaissance. Ce qui veut dire... Oh, that doesn't sound good. Ce qui veut dire l'époque où les artistes et les inventeurs ont redécouvert l'influence de la culture gréco romaine All right, we're going to translate this. You guys ever do this with a madame? Oui. Yeah. Oh, how wonderful. So hopefully it'll be better than the first year kids. I mean, they were good. <laughs> I mean, at least you'd be better than them at something. Oh, All right. Oh, wow. Oh, I tried to write. I encourage you to, like, to write my others and bring some food dollars for the drive. All right. I just dropped $500 on that piece. Oh, we sit. I know. Education's expensive, but it definitely pays off. All right. Ready, set, show. Make you copy if you guys don't. I will stay after school and grade those papers, too. I have nothing to do. I don't even live. You think it's fun to write this book on myself? No. I'd rather stay here and grade your papers. Let's get you up. Ah, Portland, oh, Portland. Oh, oh, oh. Oui, le club. Et il fait Ah, Portland. That's good to have a good Okay. Um, okay, le titre. You guys read this the way the first period or the first year kids read it? Like you read it like every single word, even though it's in a weird order? Yeah? yeah? Okay, so let's go. Title. No, no, everybody. Ready? Title. No, with me. Oh. Ready, set, go. Title. Title. Like Shakespeare, doesn't it? Oh, the genius universe. Like, oh, the, like the, 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 the. <laughs> All right, ready? Go. The genius the the is born in Italy in the century of 15th. All right, all right, all right. So, what's O mean? This is in the. What's New York? What's Duke? Because what's up? Just do. Okay, so we're going to go back to 
Padua in the in Italy. Ready? Set. All together now. Go. Thank <laughs> you. 